Hello everyone. Tonight I'm going to show you how to check Google rankings of a website. My name is Jay and I am the founder of Affiliate Resources. You can visit us online at affiliateresources.org. So there's a couple methods that we're going to talk about. One is we're going to talk about free methods of rank checking and two, the paid methods of rank checking. So one of the first and easiest ways to find your rankings on Google is to actually go on Google yourself and type in the keyword that you're trying to rank for and see if your website is listed in the search engine results. Um, literally, you just have to type in your, t your keyword and navigate around, see if you can find your site. And then from there, you'd have to count, you know, which spot that you're in. Um, so obviously this way, this method would be somewhat time consuming and uh, you know might not be the easiest method to do it, but it is free. Uh, the other free method is to have a look inside Google Webmaster Tools, and this would actually be located inside Search Traffic, Search Queries, and what it does is it will actually show you your average search ranking for your keywords, okay, and what landing page and so on and so forth. Now for this to, to work, for this free method to work, you actually need to have Google Webmaster Tools actually set up. If you don't have it set up, it's not gonna show you any rankings. It'll only show you uh, from basically the point you've entered into Google Webmaster Tools, okay? So those are your two free methods, pretty easy. Um, one is time consuming, the other needs to have something set up, which is of course free. Uh, let's talk about some paid methods here, okay? Now, one paid method is uh, a website called SEM Rush, and uh, it, it literally all you have to do is type in your website address, and then it'll show you your keyword rankings. Now, there are some issues I found with SEM Rush. Uh, I do notice some data accuracy issues, especially if you go and compare your rankings inside SEM Rush with rankings inside Google Webmaster Tools. You will see a, a, a very a vast difference between the two. And personally, I would trust Google's uh, data versus SEM rushes. Um, there's no data or very little data on like a small website so uh, or a brand new website. So it kind of, they have their own proprietary way of, of gathering this data. So if your site is brand new, it may not be inside their database yet. Uh, the other thing is it's very expensive. It's $69.95 a month. So, you know, if you can propagate that cost to do that monthly, then, you know, go for it. I mean, there's other features inside SEMrush, but for, you know, checking your Google rankings, um, to me, I, I can't justify that cost. So now here's another paid method. Uh, and it's called Jaxi. Jaxi is actually a keyword research tool, but it also has a feature where you could check your site rankings. Uh, it's actually very, very easy to use. Um, and one of the cool things is that it has a search history feature. So if you go back, log back into Jaxi, um, you can see what you've checked before and then you can kind of recheck and it'll tell you if you've gone up or down. I'll show you all this in a second. Um, and the cool thing, the other thing is that it shows you a screenshot of the SERPs and it shows you where you are listed in a, it's highlighted in yellow, okay? So what I wanna do now is let's actually go ahead and check out all four of these methods, okay? Let's go do that now. Okay, so I'm inside Google and so let me go search for something that I know that I'm listed. All right, now when you're searching here, when you're searching uh, just on Google, make sure you have, especially if you're logged into Google, make sure you, you set it to hide private results. And this way you get more of a, a uh, or, uh, authentic search, okay? So, so I'm looking here, I'm not on the first page for this particular uh, keyword here. So if I go here, so there I am here on the second page, okay? So, you know, it's something that I have to kind of navigate around. Okay, so let's let's do the same thing and let's go inside Google Webmaster Tools. So here's Google Webmaster Tools and so 
you go to search traffic, search queries. And if you look here, you'll see that, you know, here are the keywords. Here's how many times my website is, has been shown in the keyword result or in the search results. Here's how many times people actually clicked on it. Uh, the average CTR, so which is a ratio of impressions versus clicks. And then it shows you average position. Now the reason why it says average position versus like, you know, that's the position that you're in is because people in different geographic areas will have um, different rank results, okay, based on, you know, where they are in the world, uh, if they've searched for the term before, if they've clicked on your website before, and all these other little metrics that determine this thing. That's why they call it average position. So I can go ahead and just kind of scroll around and check it out. Um, you can see here, here's my a whole bunch of different rankings, right? Oh, and the cool thing is that these are all sortable. So if I want to go and click on average position to see, you know, which, what am I ranking for? I can then go see that, all right? And of course, uh, it's got you know, 944 odd different rankings. So I can go and show 500 rows and I can scroll down, okay? The other thing that's kind of cool, so I'll change this back to 25. The other thing is cool is that you can see with change. So what it does is it's now showing me uh, an increase or a decrease since the previous uh, month. Okay, so it says it's gone. You know, this my impressions have gone down 23%. Uh, clicks have gone down 18%. Uh, but my average position has gone up three by three. Okay. So, you know, if you're really into, if you're kind of a data geek like I am, uh, you know, then you can find out all this kind of inf information. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy free method. Um, you know, there are some issues with it, but for the most part, it gives you a basic idea of your rankings. Now, what you can do is you can combine our first method and our second method together. So you can kind of go and check it out for yourself. So I can then go see here, I can then copy that and paste that and then see you know what, what did it say average okay so first position first position so there we go so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, SEM rush now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my website press search so now it's going to give me a whole bunch of different data here so it says organic search 245. And so right now I'm not logged into SEMrush. Uh, it does have like a little free version, free-ish version. It shows you a few of the keywords that, you know, someone's ranked for. So I can click on full view full report. And then I can see, you know, I can see, I think that's 10 there. I can see that uh, what I'm, posi what the position I'm in here, okay. Uh, obviously, if I were paying a paying member of SEM Rush, I would see all of this stuff. Okay, so there you go. So uh, again, it's uh, the data accuracy is an issue for me, uh, and it's really expensive. So you go to prices here. You can see it's sixty five, sixty nine ninety five a month. Um, so I mean, if you can justify that cost, by all means. Uh, I personally don't think there's a lot of uh, justification for that cost. And our final method, which is the other paid method, is uh, Jaxi. So this is uh, this is in the inside of Jaxi here, and then I'm in the site rank area. So I can actually just kind of go like that, and then I can click on previous websites, Google Sniper 3.0 reviews. I can go search, and then it shows me found in position one, page one. And it gives me a link that I can click to go see. And then here's that highlighted uh, element that I was telling you about. Now, the cool thing is I can go and see these are past uh, searches that I've done. And I can then go ahead and press search again. And what's going to do is going to update it here. So I, I haven't changed my position there. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. Let's do this one, Jaxi Review. So let's search that. See if it's gone up or down. All right, so we're pretty much the same there again. Okay, so there you go, folks. So that is, uh, those are your four free, four methods, two free, two paid uh, on how to find your Google rank.
Okay, my name is Jay and the website is Affiliate Resources. Thank you very much for watching.